Welcome to my review of Sonic the Hedgehog Archie comic Countdown to Chaos. From issue 253 to issue 256. After Eggman's failed plan in Worlds Collide and creating the Genesis Wave, we start off with Sonic Tails in the jungle and Nicole not in very much of good shape. They theorise the idea the way to make her better is to find uh, find Sonic's friends and try to restore their memories in the New World counterparts because of Sonic being sent to a whole new different Mobius of a different timeline. And speaking of not good shape, Robotnik's not in good shape as well with um, Q-Bot and Allbot on right behind him. Um, lucky his army find, finds him and picks him up. Back with Sonic and Tails, they've been trying to find um, Rota to start off with, but um, they come across Big. Um, there's quite a funny bit with Sonic um, trying to communicate with Big. Big not really understanding it, and Tails basically said, oh, just let me try, simply put it. And they go off to try and find Rota. But um, Big takes them to where Rota is, and uh, Rota has a bit of a problem dealing with some badniks. So um, Sonic and Tails decide to join in the fight, and um, when the fight was going on, guess who decides to show up? Silver Sonic. Yep, Silver Sonic decides to turn up, um, but he's dealt with quite quickly. Sonic and Tail get up to date by um, Rota, but everything has been going on, especially what he's been working on with this um, Sky Patrol thing. And so Sonic and Tail decide to restore his memory um, with Nicole. We see everything that from his other life counterpart is still a little bit confusing, but he basically gets all his memories back and um, he remembers everything that happened to that version of Rota at this point. On the last page of this comic, we see Eggman gear backed up and he's flying off to where he needs to get to. And we get a tiny hint of what's been going on with this leading up to the Countdown to Chaos. Kind of interesting to see the way this goes to. As we continue into issue 254, Countdown to Chaos Part 2, Soldier, we start off Eggman and Allbot and Qbot getting shot at by gun, G-U-N. And not not to be in such a happy place at the moment, considering that his airspace being um, taken over by gun. Back with Sonic and Tails, they got their mission to try to find the rest of the Freedom Fighters. On the way, um, they managed to find Uncle Chuck and seem to be very happy to find him. And immediately afterwards, Antoine turns up and Sonic and Tails seem to be very happy to see him. And we get a new character, well, not really new per se, but um, a new Mutt kit, is if I'm saying that right, Mutt. Yeah, I think that image of Sonic and Tails sum up my expression when I saw this. Once Sonic and Tails got Antoine on their own, they restore their memory with Nicole again, and Antoine possibly might have an idea where Bunny might be. This big with Eggman is brilliant. He goes on a rampage and he reenacts um, Weapons Bay level from SA2, and finish off the whole sequence as well with a nice line saying, "And now you know why I am the best." Seem to be a lot of SA2 references in this storyline so far. So now back with Sonic and Tails, um, once Antoine um, recorrected himself and now was really worried about Bunny, um, trying to figure out where she might have gone undercover. As we saw in the last part, um, Mobius is not said to be right, and um, sure enough, Earthquake happened, and Sonic, Antoine, and Tails go in to save um, Chuck and Mutt. After saving them, um, Antoine might have an idea where um, Bunny might, might be, so... Um, Sonic Tail go go off to try to find her. And the last shot we see is basically Bunny getting into her undercover gear as one of Robotnik's um, henchmen. This is actually kind of interesting to see where this is going. Now on to part three, Countdown to Chaos. Sonic and Tail travel to Metropolis Zone to find Bunny, um, giving in, um, getting into a fight on the way with Eggman's guards and robots. And Sonic cracking jokes as usual. It doesn't take Sonic and Tails long to find Bunny, both Sonic and Tail decide not to restore Bunny's memory just yet. But we do find out why Bunny went undercover. It was to do with a generator that was being built for the Death Egg and she was going to try and sneak it out to use on the Sky Patrol that Rota has been working on. Meanwhile, Eggman is in his Egg Army base in Alaska to get a ride to the Death Egg on a robotic sleigh with reindeers. Just go with it, people. And again, what is up with Eggman with the whole egg pun thing? Sonic, Tails and Bunny decide to go the Sonic approach, which is hit hard and go fast. And surprisingly, it works, and they get out safely with the generator in hand. Once Sonic Co. meet up with Antoine back on the Sky Patrol, Antoine is acting a bit weird around Bunny and um, explains to him, um, give Nicole to Bunny and restore her memory. And I've got to say, when this does happen, it's so well done. 
for this for this restoring of Bunny's memories. It's the artwork, the whole panel, no speaking, just images. It's so well done. It sums up what she's been through so perfectly. Nicole's starting to feel a lot better now, but she passed on some worrying news to Sonic that she might only have enough power to restore one more person's memory, that being Amy or Sally. But Sonic telling Nicole, we cross that bridge when we come to it. Best of saying, we figure out something once it comes down to it. And finally, we see um, Eggman finally back on his death egg with Qbot and Allbot at the helm. But unfortunately, there's not that much good news for Eggman this time around because he finds out that he finds out about the bad news that been going on in Metropolis Zone, and also he has a stowaway on his um, death egg, with Sally escaping in one of his um, escape pods. With this, um, Robotnik decides to send out Mel Sonic to hunt her down and kill her. Again, good ending to this part. Hopefully, um, everything will get wrapped up in the final part. Welcome to the final part of Countdown to Chaos Part 4, issue 256. We start off with Amy and Cream along with Bean and Bark coming back from helping Blaze in Pirate Plunder Panic in the Sonic Universe storyline. By the way, good story, check it out. But it doesn't take long for everything to kick off with Sally being attacked by Metal Sonic with a skate pod crashing into the city. Sally, Amy and Cream are doing their best to f- fight off Metal Sonic. But Mel Sonic seemed to be using a black shield. Oddly, he seemed to be the one from um, SA2 again. Again, a lot of SA2 references in this storyline. Sally tells Amy that um, she sent out a distress signal for help because she knew Mel Sonic was on her tail. And sure enough, Sonic turns up to save the day as per usual. Even Sally making a remark, even Sonic knows how to save everyone, getting Mel Sonic out of the city. Well, if that isn't a dig to Man of Steel, I don't know what is. Sonic now reunited with Amy and Sally. Um, they decide to go to the Sky Patrol and tell everyone about the Genesis Wave. Bunny being hesitant for um, Sally to get the um, memories restored into her because she'd known about what happened to Sally already. Nicole works out a way with both Amy and Sally both getting their memories restored by um, both touching her console at the same time. Sally seemed to be having a much harder time accepting this as she remembers the memories of when she got roboticized as she breaks down emotionally. With Nicole finally restored, she has come to the conclusion that um, it's too late, nothing can be fixed about the um, dimensions ripping itself apart. This is also on the same end as Robotnik. And I do find it funny that the Sky Patrol is um, based off the Sonic um, old emblem logo. Our comic comes to an end with uh, Mobius going to hell, with all our heroes and the new Freedom Fighters looking on. Countdown to Chaos is a very well told, executed story. It has great action, great amount of drama, some good comedy bits. The new designs for the characters look very well, and how the characters react to um, their emotions when they get their memories restored, that's very well done. But it did feel rushed at some parts in the story. What this means, though, that um, the Sonic Archie comic has gone into it infra crisis mode slash New 52 sort of thing, with mostly everything getting rebooted from, from the look of things. Overall, the story's very well told, and I give this story a 8.5 out of 10. And if you want me to review more Archie Sonic comics, just leave down in the comment you want to see them more, or if you want to see me personally to review any other comics from um, IDW, Image, or Archie. Just leave that down in the comment as well. Any recommendations? Thank you for watching.